This is a leap motion controller. Now this little device turns your PC or your Mac into a gesture controlled device. So it's got in here um, two camera sensors and three little LEDs and it then can be used in front of your PC or your laptop and you can wave your fingers around, point your finger at the screen, anything like that and it should respond to you. Now you use it with apps that you find in the Airspace store online. Some of them are free, some of them are paid for. So we've set it up here on this iMac to see just how easy it is to use and whether the guys on the tech team can really get to grips with it. So based on my experience with uh, Leap Motion, it was quite frustrating, I have to say. It felt almost like doing a jigsaw puzzle with really, with really thick gloves on. Um, there was just no response I was expecting uh, from the screen. I was really excited about this when I heard about it because it looks like a great thing. I'm one of those odd people that stand at my desk so being able to wave my hands around as well would make it even more minority report but I, it just doesn't work well enough to control the computers. And a lot of the time when I was moving my fingers around um, the tracking seemed quite off so I'd be moving the cursor and the cursor would get stuck, but of course I would carry on. Uh, it feels quite unnatural, especially if you're used to something like a touchpad, for example. I think if you could set it up to use the gestures on the, on the screen, it would work quite well, because like, it works for those broad, big movements, because the, the, the resolution is just not there for the fine stuff. So if you could set up a whole bunch of stuff where you, can, you, know, you wanted to flick to the next page and you just flick left and it turns the page, or you, know, you want to go to your desktop and you just move down, it kind of works for that if you can get it right and turn off the actual pointing stuff so you don't get apps launching instead when you're actually trying to just flick around, then it, I could see it working for that. There's often times when you're trying to use like the Internet Explorer when it's just, it won't click on it, which is quite, quite annoying, especially when there's a, r a mouse sat right next to you and you can't, you don't want to use it, you don't want to rely on it. So uh, when it works, it's really nice, but I, I think it's, it's not quite perfect yet to be polite. It's not exactly the easiest thing to use and it's quite far removed from uh, thinking of yourself as Tom Cruise in Minority Report. There's no way you can be throwing things around that easily. Certainly when you kind of feel like you might have just about got the hang of some of the gestures, you walk away, you come back and then you've lost it again. There's no way you can get them working. For some reason, you're just not in the zone again. So it's certainly quite tricky to use and I think everyone's finding it that way. But if you want to give it a go yourself, it is available at the moment in Amazon for £70 and if you want to find out a bit more about it, you can go to witch.com. UK. To read more about the Leap Motion Controller or to see full test reviews of the iMac, other all-in-one PCs or laptops, click on the links below.